What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. So at the end of the last one, I don't know who remembers this or not. Ah, moving through snow leaves. Footprints that fade away after a short time. Good to know, so they can find us if we uh, Hush. Footprints. don't move like fast enough. Like arrows pointing at you. Anyway, um, so... Mugen, who's over here somewheres, way over there, uh, is employing Yuki's help to try and steal some documents, I believe. And so she accidentally got too far ahead of him and left him behind. So now we need to hopefully find a decent way back up onto the roof. Now he did gift her with, first of all, let me do that. Um, he gave her a hook shot so she can get onto the, the roof fairly easily. But I think we might have an easier time. Um, he'll probably see the tracks. The, okay, so here's what we're going to do first, because we need to learn right now whether or not tracks can be seen in the, um, in the striped zone. Because, see, he can't see us using stripes all the way up to here. So as long as our footprints remain the same way we do, then there shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so he does not see footprints that way. Good to know. All right, so let's do this. We're gonna come back over here. He's not seeing anything, so let's uh, drop a trap right here. Noise. Then do that, and let him walk into the trap. Such a good trap. <laughs> now we need to go put him way where no one will ever find him again. Oh, put him down. Alright, let's get uh, in here so we can get up onto the roof. Oh, I can't get out that way. Okay, well, never mind. That's not going to work. Oh, but we've got another way up there. Where's this guy going to look? Does he turn and see us this direction? Yes. Okay, so if we're going to do this, we got to do it quick. Shoot. Go now. All right. That's a good trick. Come forward. Yeah, I was worried he'd see the footprints, but uh, at least we're up here now, so we've got that much working out for us, kind of. Uh, unfortunately, I'm already realizing this wasn't, maybe, wasn't the best place to get up here, because now there's not really anywhere else to go. Um, I could hop down into the bushes. No. Ooh, but I could, uh, aerial kill him as long as the other guy's not watching. Shoot. Alright, get down in the bushes. I need him to not be watching if I'm going to get him and keep him hidden. The other problem, though, is there's no way she can really... Well, we could probably run over that way and then sneak around behind him. The civilians never really pay that much attention. So we're going to wait for this guy to turn around and go back the other way, and she's going to move over here. There we go. That was actually not too bad. Oh, yeah. I keep freaking forgetting about the footprints. Footprints are bad for us. Like, really, 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 really bad for us. Oh, God, please don't. Please don't. Okay, good. They're going back to their business. All right, um, I know that this guy pretty much just rotates those two directions, but he himself, oh no, he can come see us. Shoot, which actually means really bad stuff because he'll be able to see the footprints. Crap, all right, well, all right, I think I need to try and take him out then and drag him off. 
I just don't know if I can do that and still be able to get... Alright, we're gonna try something crazy here. So here's what we're gonna try and do. Yes, still works. We're gonna wait for that guy to turn around. Move, stupid. We're gonna put a trap out. He saw the tra he saw the tracks. And now he drops. All right, now this guy is not paying any freaking attention to us, so we can just walk his buddy right in here and drop him down. <laughs> Keep moving. Keep moving. All right, now duck over here. We got to see where he's going. I think I can take him out too while we're at this, because he's not going to be paying attention to the tracks well enough for what he needs to be doing. Wake up, little knife. All right, so he turns that way. So if we're going to take him out, which I think we're going to have to do, because if I run across here, we're going to leave. Well, he probably won't get to the tracks fast enough. Maybe I don't need to worry about him. No, oh, but he's going to be watching up ahead. But he'll see me take out his buddy, so... All right. That's not going to work. All right, we need to just go. Oh, you lost him. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What? Shoot. He saw the tracks. tracks? I see you. Ow. <laughs> Fuck you. Well... This is why we uh, quick saved anyway. We're gonna reload because <laughs> that's not working. I wonder if there's a better way we can get around to Mugen. All right, so where we are, we're tucked away back there. We can use the footprints and the trap trick to take him out. We know we can do that, and his buddy won't even notice. So where is there? Oh, there's a hook shot right there. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so let's use our, um... Yes, still works. The fox is hunting. Let's use this trap. Because right. that is an Shh. awesome trap. Now he sees the footprints. Who left those traps? Shit, Wake he didn't. Up, Wasn't close enough. Stick and stab. <gasps> All right, well, that did the trick. <laughs> um... Let's go get our trap back. No, 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 not what I meant to do. You put him down in the bushes. Now go get your trap back. Okay, now you go hang out over here. Civilian should still be up there totally not paying any attention whatsoever. All right, so his vision goes a pretty long ways. But only when he's going one direction or the other. So if I wait, will these tracks disappear in time? What? No. Not quite. All right, but... Crap, but now he's gonna go get the guards. Okay. I know what we're gonna do now. I think I know how we need to manage this. <sighs> They're not making this easy on me, though. Okay. So get the trap ready, wait for him to turn around. Set the trap right there. It's got to be close enough to the bushes that when he investigates our tracks, he pretty much walks right on top of them. And that apparently wasn't close enough, which is even more irritating. Can I hit one of them without hitting the other? Yes, I can. Did I get out of range fast enough? Well, kind of. I am just making a mess of this one. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Okay. I know I can do this. This worked once. It has to work again. It's just like the trick is you have to leave tracks. Did I leave enough tracks? Is he going to find them? No. But I can't call him over without alerting the other guy, too, which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole exercise, so... It has to be close enough that he sees the tracks, but far enough away 
or sorry, far enough away that he sees the tracks, but close enough that he'll hit it when he goes to investigate those very same tracks. And see that close to the, there we go. That was what I wanted, that did the trick. And nobody heard it, nobody saw. I haven't left any others, we're good. All right, that's what I wanted, so we're gonna quick save real fast. That prevents anything else from happening. All right, now I wanna get the other guy down here. How far does his vision go? A decent ways, but not so far that we can't avoid him. So if I'm gonna get over here, I need to move the second this guy turns around so that my tracks might have enough time to disappear. In fact, actually I should just go now because those tracks will need to have time to disappear before he even comes back the other way. And they do take kind of a while to go. What? Yeah, look at that. See, he still was able to locate those. And see, now this guy's probably gonna check the bushes. No? All right, get the knife ready so we can do this if we have to. I'm kind of amazed he didn't check the bushes. I was hoping that I'd gotten in there fast enough, but apparently not. Don't try to hide. Yeah, he saw me. All right. Reload. It's okay. We're close. I think I can get to those bushes. I just have to move just a split second faster. You cannot wait. Pretty much as soon as he turns on his heels, you need to be running for that other bush. Let's close the gap as much as possible and get ready for this. In fact, I can go now because he'll turn the other way. You don't even want to wait for him to turn around. Now disappear, disappear, disappear. Come on. All right, so all the tracks have now vanished and he doesn't see them. And now we should be able to get him without the other guy seeing. Nope. Shoot, that's a problem. Yes. Just hoping we have enough time. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, that was a uh, last second decision and it was a very poor one. Okay, we can do it. I think I'm, I'm learning the tricks to this now. So wait for him. As soon as he gets there, move to the bushes. The tracks will disappear by the time he gets back. Now, if I'm gonna get him, I... Let's see if we can get him by running to him. And then drag him over here. And drop him in the bushes. Okay, that's what I needed. We're good. Now, let me see him. Perfect. As long as I'm moving carefully and quietly, I can get over here with no problem. And she can jump across to the roofs. Calm down, Yuki, we're making progress. We will get there, we'll find him. We can manage. Okay, so I think we're gonna find out if she can tightrope walk, because if she can, then we're gold. Can she go across there? She totally can. Yuki, you're my hero. Now, where's Mugen? He's, ah, over there. Okay, so we still have to get that far. Ooh, okay. Hush. Focus. Oh, but we, have, we still have this whole thing, don't we? So where would that take me if I chose to use that? That would get me like over to here. Can you do that? Holy cow, I like Yuki a lot. Yuki is fantastic at this. Okay. And now we've found our way to move again. Feel bad later. Found Mugen. Master Samurai. There you are. You had me worried there, young woman. Sorry. Am I in trouble? <laughs> we will see. Tell me, what did you find out? 
Uh, not much yet. That man with the papers. He is at that big house like you said. He has lots of big, mean samurai with him. We will worry about them later. First, we need to get inside the compound. Hi. I found two ways inside. One at the north wall. And one at the south wall. But they are both locked. For every lock, there is a key. Can you think of anyone who might have it? Um... Yes! There was another mean samurai. He has a key that wants to be stolen. You must climb inside, steal that key, and let me in. After that, we will regroup and discuss further plans. Hi, Master Samurai. Alright, so we have to get inside the compound and steal a key. Now, she doesn't even have that lockpick skill yet, so I imagine we'll be getting it pretty much as... <laughs> this is fun, she says. Pretty much as soon as, um, as we get in there. What in the hell? Did someone see me? Oh, she's not crouched. Why the hell is she not crouched? She probably uncrouched when she went into the cutscene with Mugen, but that's not helpful for me. Okay, so where exactly am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get up here. That's the samurai, and I need to steal a key from... Jesus, look at all these guards. <laughs> okay, this is going to be exciting. Couple civilians. There's one place with a hookshot entry we can use. Is there another one up here somewhere? Um, not that I'm seeing. So, we might be able to sneak inside the wagon. Can be entered and exited when standing still. So if the wagon goes inside the compound, maybe we could use the wagon to sneak in. Otherwise, there's a hookshot way up there. Maybe that's where the wagon... Where's the wagon going to go? Let's, let's see if we can figure out where this wagon stops. Because if it stops somewhere helpful, then I could probably use that to get where I need to go. It's a wagon, a wagon. In fact, this it's wagon already nearly gotten to me. He wants to go where we're going. Maybe jump inside. Mm, good thinking. Oh, that's a good trick. All right, where is he go? Okay, so he's going that far. So, whew. okay. All right, he'll come back. That's fine, so let's get over here. Once I'm able to get over there, we'll make a quick save. Coming. Go ahead and use that to just get down and come over this way. The footprints is the only thing that concerns me. Who's even watching, though? Is this guy checking out this direction, or is he only looking that one way? How about you? Okay, so he is looking back this way. But he only looks about that far, so we could jump down onto the road and be all right. He is looking that way, but again, as long as we jump down over here and kind of creep around, I think we can do this. Make a quick save. Yeah, see, we can jump down over here, and I don't think anyone's going to notice us. And then it's just a matter of creeping up to the wagon, so as long as the wagon stays put for a little bit, I think we can do this. All right, where is that wagon at? Is he coming back, or is he still hanging out up there? All right, there's the wagon. Uh, is he leaving or is he coming around again? I'm really hoping I didn't miss my opportunity with that. Cause that wagon takes kind of a while to get anywhere. Let's see, I, this is an extremely appealing entrance point for me. Okay, so where is he going? Because that's where I want to get to. If I can get to there, I can get inside, no problem. Okay, so he should... Okay, it looks like he's doing what he did last time, so he's coming this direction. He'll head down towards us. Cold. 
be ready to make another quick save, so if I screw this up, I've got time to fix it. Alright, now he'll head out this way and into the crossroads. Pretty much when he gets to the crossroads, like right about here, actually will trigger another quick save. Right about now! Awesome! Now get ready to jump, but we gotta jump down over here and do our creeping that way. Without him or anybody else noticing. Okay, go now. <laughs> Creep along the side of this house and get into the wagon. Hide inside the red wagon. Achievement unlocked, Roland. Okay, we're good. And we got in there fast enough that the footprints have been wiped out. So no one's even going to see us. Love it. Big fan of the wagon. Okay, now where is he going? We can slip through here. This business comes naturally to you, Yukicha. Have you always been a thief? I was alone for a time. Others came. They taught me how to see things, you know. Things that want to be taken. Is that a problem? Your origins don't bother me. What matters is how you use the talents that have been given to you. Okay, so this should be where he stops. Oh, shoot. I don't know who this guy is. Are they about to check the wagon? Because if they are, that's going to be really, really bad. <laughs> I didn't realize the two of them were going to do... Okay, get out now. Hide the bushes. Because this is where I want to be. Now the trick is, where is he looking? Alright, he is not looking at me. He's looking that direction, but he won't see his buddy if I take him out quietly. That guy is going to come past here, so I'm going to wait for the wagon to loop back around again. And then we're going to basically, yeah, sneak kill him, drag his body in the bushes, and then we'll work our way up there. Go get him. Stick and stab. I got achievement uh, progress for... I'm not even sure what that was. I did notice he's actually named, though, which maybe means something bad, but I don't know. Uh, okay. So, the other guy might actually be watching that area. You betcha. How much of that can he see? enough of it, unfortunately. Hmm. Alright. Well, I mean, I could creep all the way around behind him and take him out, too. That'd work. So, let's go do that, because I do not need him screwing this whole thing up. Oh, careful. Alright, I don't think he's going to notice me. If he were, he probably would have by now. So just get way over here and stabby stabby. Stick and stab. <laughs> you know, I love that she can do that quickly and quietly and so on and so forth, but um, I gotta say, Mugen is so much better at that. He just gets in, stabs once, done. No muss, no fuss. Shh, quiet. Slowly. <laughs> Alright, get up there. Good. Now we're out of the way. We don't need to worry about the wagon finding the guards. <gasps> ah, and I'm hoping I don't need to worry about that straw hat guy up there. I don't think so. Where was he looking? Um, nope, I think I need to worry about the straw hat guy. We should probably take him out. Wait a minute, don't, don't jump Shh. that. Fuck. That is why we quick saved. <laughs> 
I thought he was just gonna keep looking the other way. I did not even realize he was, no, don't do that. I saved on top of the roof. And there's a reason I did it. All right, come back over here. Take a look at this guy and see where he's gonna look. I'm pretty sure he will adjust his vision so he's going the other way. He'll turn around in just a minute. And when he does, that's when we go. Because if I go the other way, I'm gonna spook the birds. No, he's not gonna move, is he? Well, I mean, maybe we can use the birds as the distraction we need. Let's give it a shot. Spooks the birds. But, okay, he's fine with that. He doesn't officially hear anything. And since nobody's really watching up top, I don't have to worry about it. So now we can creep along this way. Are there any other straw hat guards up here? Not yet. But there's another... This is probably our lockpick skill that I'm about to earn. So let's go check it out. What do you got for me? Look. Certain icons over a character's head show that they are carrying a stealable item. Hold left control and mouse... Left, uh, left mouse button to steal the item. Okay, you can also get the item from their corpse. Big, shiny icicles. Oh, they want to fall on the samurai's head. Can I do that without making noise? Who are you? Civilians, guards, okay. So we're gonna quick save one more time. We're gonna conduct a quick experiment here and see what happens when we drop icicles on a samurai. And then we're probably going to call this an episode, because we're at 30 minutes. Man, and Mugen. I'm going to have to get Mugen all the way up here, too. Where the hell's Mugen at? Way over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, blame the samurai guy who's taking his dear sweet time getting his ass over here. I don't know why I would need to use the icicles, though. If this alerts everybody in the area, then I'm probably not going to actually keep the save that does this. I mean, it got us an achievement, and it knocked him unconscious, but it did draw the attention of, like, freaking everybody. This guy goes to check on him. Everybody else is like, what's going on? Can this guy see over here? I mean, he can, but he's just got the lines. It's this dude that's the problem. I could kill him. But that doesn't really seem worth it. So I guess we can wait till he stops looking for us, and then we can just hop down and get the key off of his corpse. I mean, I, I, I suppose that's probably what we'll wind up doing. I love that no one bothers to remember he has an important key on him, or even to move him. They're just leaving him there. All right, but at any rate, I'm all out of time for this for this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying this series. I certainly am, and I'd love to keep going. If you are, please make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment down in the section below. And as always, I will see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.